No, the thing is, in the U3 Air Prospectus, I'm not down there as the tutor, but the organiser. That means getting here early enough to rearrange the tables after the previous lot, what's happened to democracy, and marking up the register. Yeah, give him that five. Now, I'd suggested forming the group because in the past it was an activity I'd always enjoyed. My mistake was saying in the blurb that those with no previous experience were welcome. It was an open invitation to those who couldn't tell a diamond from a spade. Better keep that. Yeah, an even bigger disappointment, one made clear to me by the end of the first session, was the number of those present who could play the bloody game a lot better than I could. Oh, that's handy. Now, added to that, there was Roger. Roger could play canasta to a standard that wouldn't have shamed him in Las Vegas. Not only had he learned the rules, but the variations. Yet playing in a foursome with Roger and laying the cards down in the wrong order, I was literally getting my wrist slapped. No, John. You can't claim the discard pile till you've melded 50 points. No way near bloody 50. Mind you... Having Roger there has proved a blessing in disguise. Whenever a point of dispute occurs at any of the tables, I opt out of resolving it by gesturing to Roger and saying, don't ask me, ask the oracle. <laughs> now, one thing I try to do as organiser is keep the atmosphere light-hearted. When you're explaining to a beginner for the fifth time in the last hour that jokers and twos are wild, <laughs> a touch of humour can make all the difference. As I often tell them, they should thank God they're not learning bridge, that their lot have this same room on Fridays. <laughs> no laughs in here then. Ooh.